This is the final checkout video of the 1977 Citesa Geraldo telephone, made in the country of Spain for export and use in the country of Peru through the CPTSA. The restoration on this telephone was a success. Initially, I thought it was a terribly discolored ivory telephone, where the plastics were terribly discolored into more of a darker ivory or an ugly yellow color. But it's actually more of a tan color, or more of a yellowish tan with absolutely no discoloration whatsoever. This restoration was uh, basically a success. Um, all I had to do was um, put the plastics in warm dish water with, with some soap and let those soak for a while, used a sponge, cleaned those all off. And then what I did is I used the Novus Number no. 2 to polish all the plastics to bring them to a nice shine. The phone is in good shape with the exception of the crack in the center here. I don't know if you can see that. That is as a result from tightening the screw too much. The crack was already there when I received it in the mail. One thing I could tell that it was not used in Spain is the black cords. The handset cord is black and the line cord is black too. That's something that Tessa wouldn't do with their telephones in Spain, at least for the Geraldo telephones. The cords were either, at least for the earlier Geraldo telephones, they were more of a, um, they had they had the two color telephones where the handset and the base were one color and only the caps were a cream color and the cords would match the caps which uh, they would be of a cream or an ivory color. The later um, Geraldo telephones were, were a single color where the caps were the same color as the rest of the plastics on the phone and the cords would match the color as well. Now I believe that this is a unique thing they did with the telephones over in uh, Peru and for other countries down in South America, they use the black color cords. They look different and the quality of them are different compared to the um, actual Citesa Geraldo telephones. But basically this is a Geraldo telephone. It's got the concentrically uh, mounted bell ringer and um, same type of network and everything made by Citesa. The schematic is all in Spanish as well. But there are some unique markings on the bottom of the telephone and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, we got the CBTSA right there, and um, we also got something there too. Um, control. That's the ringer adjuster right there. Um, not uh, even the feet are different too. They're worn down, but um, all in all, it's a, it's very uh, different compared to the Spanish Rado. Peralta telephones usually have um, like something where Citesa was mount uh, was marked on the bottom. Another sticker was there, but I don't know um, would it, it probably would have said like made in Peru or um, such and such. But it's a very very nice shape. One thing with the dial is that uh, the bezel is different compared to the number nine dials used on the Princess telephones because when you take off the clear uh, bezel that has the numbers on it there is another piece of white plastic or um, paper laminated, I don't know what you call it, um, that gives it the white color behind the numbers. On the Spanish telephones they actually painted the back with a with type of paint. When I took the bezel off on this telephone the paint was in very bad shape. It was dried out and I had to remove the paint completely and the color of it wasn't, uh, I think it was really faded so what I did is I removed the paint. It, was, it actually came off really easily. Um, took the paint off and then polished the back of the bezel where the numbers are. I managed to preserve those numbers as well, the gold numbers. And got a piece of uh, card stock. Traced it with a bezel and basically mounted it behind. So now it looks basically good as new, which uh, I thought was was really nice. I don't have to worry about it. losing paint or having to repaint it. I think this is a much more uh, easier way to restore it. And I think um, the numbers are very, um, they, they really stick out compared to um, how it looked before in my, in, in the first video of this telephone. Um, the numbers looked really dull compared to the um, painted backside of the bezel. There was nothing else marked on the other side of the number card. It was a blank piece of card stock or, or hard paper. So I took that out and I put in that number card there that um, 
basically what uh, the C CPTSA telephones would have. The picture on the top would usually be in, in color, but the only logo I found was in black and white. And the one thing someone pointed out in one of my other videos of my other telephone from Peru, the emergency number used to be 05 and then it changed to 105. The reason why I have 115 on here is from um, a listing I saw of one of these telephones um, in Mercado Libre in, uh, of Peru. And they actually had the emergency number as 115. I basically used the same number card. I had the template in Microsoft Word that I made and I, and I shrunk it a little bit to fit the center of the dial there. So um, I didn't want to have to go through the trouble of trying to change that. So it's the best I could have done. Um, I think it looks really good. It may not be completely accurate but it's, it's close to what it would have looked like on the phone. And let me go ahead and show you the handset here. Of course, uh, in the previous video, you saw all the uh, components on the inside. I actually didn't take pictures. I actually had the cover loose, so I went ahead and showed you that. I think the phone looks really good in person. The video of this does not do it justice. It certainly doesn't. I oiled the dial, too. I took all the parts out and washed them. Of course, my air conditioner is kind of drowning out the sound. You can't really hear it, but it's... It's pretty quiet, and it sounds very similar to a number 9 dial used in the Western Electric telephones, such as the Western Electric 500, and the uh, 702B, 701B um, Princess telephones. And the concept is pretty much the same, um, like on the Princess dials. You know, you've got the golden finger stop, and, and the way they have the, the bezel mounted and everything. You know, there's a retainer ring on there that um, you, you turn to... Uh, I believe you turn clockwise that um, puts it under the notches that secures the bezel on uh, on the dial chassis itself. I still managed to keep the original line cord and I mounted a little box here that has the RJ11 port so I can plug it in and test it and use it. So I have my analyzer right above the telephone on the uh, partition there. Um, you can't really see it, but um, in the next video, we'll um, be testing it out, uh, showing that the dial works and that the ringer uh, works as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part off, and we're going to go to the next segment. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and stay tuned for the next part coming up in a few seconds. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the next section of this video. This is the testing out the dial, showing the dial's working, um, dialing it correctly, and I'm going to show you that the ringer's working as well. I adjusted everything in the, the bells. Uh, everything was kind of out of whack when I tried to test it at first. So I had to adjust the bells, and I also uh, adjusted the clapper so that everything is even and um, the adjuster is accurate too, so that it's soft and loud. So. By default, I have the ringer set at, at a loud so you can hear it at its fullest. And I'm sorry again, the, the air conditioner is running, it's pretty loud, so you may not be able to hear the dial as well, but you'll get the point that the dial is um, dialing the correct numbers accurately. And same thing with the ringer, I'm sorry if the air conditioner is drowning any of the sound out. So here we go. There should be dial tone right there. Um, if not, I can assure you that dial tone is there. So let's go ahead and dial a few numbers. The if, if you can see the zero at the top dial number display, it'll show you which number I dialed. So I'm just going to dial some random numbers here so you can show that it's working. Three, six, five. Let's end it in a seven. There's that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the camera here so that it's showing the phone itself. And I'm going to uh, show what the ringer sounds like. So here we go. I'm pressing the button. I'm going to pick up on the third.
I hope you enjoyed uh, this final video of this neat telephone from Peru. Um, I will have more videos coming up soon. There's one coming as late as August, so stay tuned for that. And there will also be some final videos in between that time. So stay tuned for more videos. I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.